If this object comes down by one centimeter, this object has to move to the right by one centimeter. So magnitude of displacement is same. Same way, if this is moving the velocity of two meter per second, at some instant of time, this object also will be moving with the same magnitude of velocity towards right. So basically, a string changes the direction of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. But one string cannot change the magnitude of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. If this object is going down with an acceleration of 4 meter per second square, this object will move to the right with an acceleration of 4 meter per second square. So this is acceleration down with an acceleration A, this will move to the right with an acceleration of A. Now we draw the free body diagram of the 1000 kg block. So 1000 g is acting down, this is automatically getting balanced by the normal reaction. Whenever a body is resting on a surface, normal reaction will act perpendicular to the surface. So this body is resting on this surface, the weight is acting vertically downwards, normal reaction acts perpendicular to the surface. This body is connected by a string, so tension will act around the string and the acceleration is in this direction. So here we do not talk about these forces. So tension is giving us to acceleration. So tension will be equal to 1000 into A. Because 1000 kg is the mass of this particular block. Suppose we look at the 1 kg block. The forces acting on it are weight acting vertically downwards. Tension always acts along the string. So tension will act in the upward direction. Acceleration is in the downward direction. So, this minus this will be mass into acceleration. So, G minus T equal to 1 into A. So, now again we have got two equations. We add them up, tension will vanish. So, G will become equal to 1001 A. So, A will become G by 1001. So, this is how we can find the acceleration. This value that I put just to understand that even if this is a very small mass and this is a very big mass, this mass can still pull this mass. Now you can easily get tension by substituting this in equation number 2. 
So tension is m1 into a. So in m1 m2 g by m1 plus m2. So this is the tension in the string. The acceleration we have got also by using our shortcut method. The force that is trying to drive this system is only m to g. So acceleration is net driving force by total mass. Net driving force here is m to g, and the total mass is m1 plus m2. This is the same result we got earlier. Now let us consider a problem that involves an inclined plane. So this angle is alpha. Block M1 is resting here. We have a pulley here. M2 is hanging here. Assume that the masses and this angle is such that this accelerates down and this accelerates up the inclined plane. Now we have to find the acceleration and tension. So, first let us draw the free bolt diagram of M2. This is simple. Since M2 is having mass, weight will act vertically downwards. Since it is connected by a string, tension will act along the string. Acceleration is downward. Net force must be in the downward direction. So M2G minus P will be equal to M2A. This is equation number 1. Now, we have to draw the free body diagram of M1. Now, here we have to resolve forces. M1 is having mass, so weight will act vertically downwards, M1G. Normal reaction will act perpendicular to the surface. Tension will act along the string. We must resolve forces in the direction of acceleration and perpendicular to acceleration to keep life simple. So, we have resolved M1G to two components. Now, if you look at this, this angle is alpha. This line is perpendicular to this. This and these are perpendicular. So, this angle also must be alpha. If there are two lines making an angle alpha, you draw perpendicular to both the lines. Then the angle between those two perpendicular lines will also be alpha. So, it is very simple to understand that this angle must be alpha. If this is M1G, this component will be M1G cos alpha and this component will be M1G sin alpha. It is easy to memorize that in this kind of situation, the component of weight down the inclined plane is always M1G sin alpha.